Hello, fam. I didn't realize this actually scheduled. And um, I am working on Loki's breastplate, but I wasn't sure that anyone would actually want to see it. Hold on just a second. So I will show you where I'm at right now. And uh, yeah, you can watch me. That'll be fun. Um, I also heard that there are some good music channels to look out for here. So let's see. Uh, we'll go to YouTube's channel. And what's his name? Starts with an H. Harris Heller. And we'll play some music. Maybe. Grammarly helps make writing clear and concise. All right, so let me show you where I'm at right now. Thanks to I actually combined two different, hello! I combined two different um, patterns, two of Kamui's patterns. I think the top one was the space pattern and the bottom one was the closed pattern. And I'm right now masking with painter's tape to do the overlay designs and then I'm gonna cut them out. I think I might actually um, use Inkscape and, you know, make them into official patterns at some point. Her, oh, this is a small, look how nice it is, right? I was really surprised by like how comfy it is. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, so sorry I didn't come on. I wasn't sure anyone would want to watch it, but I think people, I'm going to probably sell maybe the pattern, maybe also the breastplates themselves. But uh, yeah, so I'm just about to take the painter's tape off. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have like great camera setup because it's on my webcam, but I can pull it a little closer. And then I'll just chat with you. Very relaxing music. So I think I have actually all the face pattern that I wanted. Which means I'm good to cut. I'm making these edges as well. I don't even like watch this show, which I find hilarious. Um, I should because Tom Hiddleston is quality material. Uh, but everyone keeps saying I look like Sylvie in my TikToks, so this is what I'm mostly making it for. Um, it'll make some good videos. Okay. I should uh, actually post and tell people that I'm on here since I'm live. So I'm actually using a four millimeter base and I'm doing two millimeters on top. <laughs> I can't imagine doing it over because that sounds like a huge pain in the bum cheeks. Um, but I really liked a bunch of her designs. It just was it's really intense. All right. So let me go ahead and cut these out. putting the edging actually like gluing it onto the base and then I'll fill in the middle parts that way I can adjust them as I go because nothing ever works out the way that it should let's face it Thank you. 
Oh, so I got these sweet things. I should show them to you. Um, they're silicone spatulas. And I got them to use with my contact cement. So that whenever like you're finished with the contact cement, it dries up and then you just peel it off. So here's one that's old and gross, right? And you just peel off the contact cement from these little spatulas. And then it's back to being clean again. It's like the best way to spread contact cement on the foam. Um, I'm gonna make a whole video about them sometime maybe, like maybe a quick video, but quality purchase. And they're not expensive. All right, so I'm getting two millimeter. Did I show you this pile of foam? It's intense. I have like 10 or 20 sheets, I don't even know how many sheets of foam. I have a ridiculous amount of foam. But okay, two millimeter for the details. And this is going to be mirrored because I only went to the middle of the thing. So but I think I'm just going to cut each side independently in case they don't quite match up. some of this foam a little better. So I'm just taking parts of my pattern and I just put the tape directly onto the foam and then I'm going to cut through those sections. one side and I'm actually going to use the foam and do the mirror side instead of trying to use the pattern again. I am really like having all this foam because I didn't for a while after Ultimate Online. I was pretty burned out, reasonably so, and so I didn't have any more foam except for some of this two millimeter. And then when I finally decided that I wanted to start building again, I went ahead and planned out the stuff for the rest of the year and um, put in a request for all of that. So I'm glad to have it, and I will probably use it before I intend to, and then I'll have to get more, which sucks, but that's the way it goes. I'm really bad at estimating how much I need. I always underestimate. I always use if I'm doing a mirrored pattern I don't actually take the pattern and cut it twice in a mirrored way I cut one of the foam and then I flip the foam over and cut the second along the foam pattern because sometimes you cut things a little wonky and that way you cut it exactly the same for both versus one following the pattern and one slightly off from the pattern they'll both be the same but that's just me So these are like the border pieces. Yoink. It does feel weird being live, but thanks for coming on. Um, other than being busy with this, things have been weird, but it's fine. I'm planning, um, I don't, you can kind of see it. Actually, I'll just turn it over here. 
my Beetlejuice costume I pulled back out, which I didn't think I would again, but I'm planning to revamp that. And I'm actually probably going to go live again sometime this week because uh, so I had a sandworm with it, right? And the sandworm was like huge, but I'm going to be going to this convention by myself in Halloween and I don't want to have to manage this huge sandworm. I'm making a small sandworm to go just on my shoulder and it's going to move to the sounds. And so instead of trying to like use an Arduino, I went ahead and got this, this toy. It was $30 and he moves his head to sounds in the direction of sounds. And I'm going to tear him apart and make him into a sandworm that moves his head to sounds and he'll just like pop on my shoulder. So yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. But that's what else. I'm planning for a lot of different things, but I want to get this out of my way first. Um, just because it's not really... Uh, Sylvie isn't like super important to me, so I just want to get it out of the way and make some videos and be done. But there's how that's going to look. I'm going to go ahead and glue these on now since I always try to like put them on here before I glue. I'll use these little spatulas that I was talking about. My favorite spatula. So you can like dip them right in your contact cement and then it just, it's perfect. I, I can't, I can't recommend these enough. If you're right in the contact cement and it's really good for spreading versus using a piece of foam. Um, yeah, I think they're like makeup brushes. People use them for makeup. I don't know. Make sure when you're doing mirrored patterns that you in fact flip over your other piece for the glue and don't have them both facing the same way, which I've done before. I'm pretty sure everybody's done it before, but since this is a how-to video almost, let me remind you, do the mirrored side. As soon as I get these covered in glue, I'll be able to come over and talk to you a little bit more. Alright, now I can sit over here and glue the edges of this. also do not I mean I'm wearing a little bit of makeup right now because earlier I thought oh I might make some videos or something I should put it on and then I scheduled this live but I didn't realize that it actually was like hey for real scheduled we're gonna tell everybody um, and so I was like I just won't do it I don't know if anyone actually really cares about this and then come to find out people cared so here I am in my weird half makeup but I don't use fancy brushes or anything I just Actually, half of my makeup is tattooed on my face. I have um, tattooed eyeliner and a little bit of microblading on my eyebrows because I'm that lazy. It's not, it's not like being extra prude, it's being extra lazy. I hate doing makeup and I really suck at it. So I'm just using my contact cement, doing the edges where I know the trim is that I need to apply. is actually pretty soothing. If you're watching, tell me what else you're working on, whoever's here, because there are a bit of people here. Is everyone else crafting right now too, or are you just watching streams? What you all doing? I wish I had perfect eyebrows. My eyebrows are all right, um, but I really envy the people who have like extra hair to deal with in the eyebrows. I don't have extra, it's just kind of what it is. Ooh, blouse! I'm 
I'm not good at sewing. <laughs> um, but I really like the old patterns, like 1930s patterns sound great. I'm better at those than I am at anything modern, but also it takes more effort, but the effort looks so much cooler when it's like the old fashioned patterns, I feel like. So it's, I don't know, it has more of a reward at the end for me to see what I've made. I think I've made like two corsets and those were super rewarding, although very difficult. So um, yeah, no, I like those old patterns. They're fun. I have a retro, um, I'll show you here. I made a, I should use it more actually. It's a retro, uh, what we call this apron, where it like wraps around. And it was for when I'm crafting. But you know, I just decided I'll destroy all my clothes instead. It's a lot easier. Yay, masks. Alright, so these are mostly dry. This is older contact cement, so it dries faster than like a fresh can, which means that like a lot of what I already just did here is, is mostly dry. This is the more recent, but this is where I started and it's pretty much dry already. I used to shave like the bottom back of my head and I loved it. And I kind of envy women who have shaved heads now whenever you do like half your head. So I'm just applying this slowly. I started a corner whenever I apply things because um, you go corner to corner and the rest in the middle is easy to kind of, I don't know. The corners are the sharp points. They're going to be the harder ones to try to finagle if you don't quite get them right. But if you start at the corners and then just smush in the middle, it seems to work better. I don't know. And I also I did cut this into two pieces because I want to make sure that the things aren't ever quite right. Even whenever you mask and cut things out, it's never perfect. And so I like to leave myself a little bit of wiggle room. So if I have a middle part here that I can like maybe shave a little bit off of one side or move it around, then I can make it look a little bit nicer versus having one big piece. And then when you put it on, it doesn't quite line up right. And your foam gets like wavy almost. So that's why I cut my stuff up into littler pieces. I do like wild mohawks. I would like a wild mohawk. All right, so I'm gonna start at a corner again for this one. I like to start at the corner, like the where there's two corners that are closer together. So I'm gonna start up here near the boobage. This one I must have cut out a lot bigger. Oh no, right, I forgot. The side ended up a little bit wonky when I cut it originally. Move this more towards the middle. So right now I'm just doing the other side. I'm lining up the bottoms because they meet in the middle. Pressing everything down. The top edge got funky, but you see how now these didn't quite line up. There was a little bit of extra. If I hadn't had this cut in the middle, I wouldn't be able to adjust and I'd be trying to figure out a way to squish everything together. So having this middle part here, I'm just gonna cut this off. And those parts together and make sure all of my sides are pressed down. Now I have the out, outside edge. It's looking pretty good. I didn't actually round out the boobs area yet, which I could do right now. Um, so to round it out, you need a heat gun, which I've got. 
And I also use, we're gonna laugh. So I got these, I think these are for like bird baths and you stick them in the middle and I, I'm not sure if like animals get out of them or what, but I bought this, this is a four inch uh, stainless steel ball. And I use this to do the heat shaping in breast cups. So you just heat the cup front and back and then I press this in. And I'll show you right now how I do it. Um, but yeah, that's the, what I found to be best. I think Kamui uses like plastic dome halves. Um, it just wasn't working for me. So. You do the high heat. I press underneath while it's still warm. It's full of exciting features that make you feel like you'll get the band. That help you find the music you've been looking for and discover new music that you'll be listening to for years to come. Upgrade to YouTube Music Premium. Uninterrupted music dedicated to you. Try one more free. So that gives me a more rounded shape on that cup, which is hard. You see this one's a little pokey. This one's a lot more rounded now. So I'm going to do that with the other side as well. So round them out. Hi, David. I'm making the show armor. Um, I have, so I printed out the comic version of the like crown helmet piece, um, but it ended up being like kind of a little too small really for my head, um, but you can stretch it. But uh, I, everyone keeps saying I look like Sylvie from the show. This is literally the only reason I'm doing this. And so I decided I was going to make some videos of me looking like Sylvie from the show. Um, so yeah, there's that piece. But I'll show you the comic one. Hold on just a second here. So the comic version, they have like either a bigger face plate or this is kind of like a more feminine, small hooked face plate. This is the comic version of it. And this is from the show, which goes straight across with these like layers. So, I mean, the comic version's all right. But it is like a little bit too small. I need something a little chonkier for my chonky face. So this will be the movie version. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cut out some more of these pattern pieces that I made that I stuck on the wall. Um, I'm going to start with the top and then the bottom because they've got some big, there's like a big triangular piece at the bottom here. And then there's also a large piece at the top that I don't want to be, be weird. So let me go ahead and cut the top out first. The thing about these pieces is that everything is like a few millimeters apart from the piece beside it. So I'm gonna cut them just a little bit smaller than the pattern that I'm making. And um, yeah, it gives, it gives you some extra wiggle room too, which is nice. All right, so I've got my two millimeter out again. And this is a mirrored piece. So I cut to the middle. And then I can take this and just flip it and do the other side. Okay. <coughs> so I'll measure it up here before I stick it on. So this can actually be, this is 
this middle section, but you see it kind of sticks out a few millimeters. So I'm going to cut that just a little bit smaller. And I can also cut the middle and kind of mirror that. You started getting ready for bed with soothing sounds, and now you're ready okay. to fall asleep. And I'll measure Take one more ASMR time on here. Playing, even with your screen off, try YouTube Premium on us. So I'm going to use a silver marker. Whenever I do patterns like this, I uh, don't want to get glue just like everywhere. So I place my pattern on the base piece where I want it. Remember, I'm leaving just a few millimeters of space between each piece. And then I trace it with my silver marker. This way I know where I need to put my glue. So I'm going to do that part now. With my handy dandy spatula. long to dry again. I will save this pattern on my wall. I can also, while I'm waiting, measure out the middle pattern up here. There's like a little half circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that while I let that glue dry. Make sure it's right. Cut that piece out. Millimeter. And then I'll measure it up, and I could probably get this glue on while the other one's drying. How is No Spaceship? Well, Chelsea Himmler could answer that for you because that's Mrs. No Spaceship. But David's doing fine, I think. They're doing good. Building lots of stuff. Just trimming up the top edge here. middle section on already too. Birthday stream. I'm excited. All right, so I'm just going to start adding my pieces. Mix it up with YouTube music playlists. Discover new music and find old favorites with playlists made for any moment. Explore YouTube music today. So the next piece I'll probably work on is the one right below this. 
so that I can kind of make sure I'm staying. I don't know, like the pattern doesn't get too weird as I keep going down. And then I'll also do this bottom piece. Come here and find my next piece. This one. I'll measure it up on here. It's still looking good. The middle part is too far. a mirrored piece as well. So I like to have something always drying at the same time that I'm cutting my next piece so that I'm never just aggravated sitting there waiting for something to happen. Okay, I'm going to cut one mirrored piece. is all very scientific. Spend a lot of time doing this, yeah, for sure. Hello. All right, so next piece, I'll go ahead and cut this out. Go measure it up here. That looks good, so I'm gonna use my silver marker. I know where to glue. So you could actually have a deeper cut here. Yeah, all right. next glue spout. Hiya! I've never done a YouTube stream. I didn't plan on it actually, I just wanted to test it out and then uh, your wife looked and saw that I had one and so I gotta follow through now. Which is fine, I was already doing it anyway, I just didn't feel like anyone wants to see this stupid face, but here I am. Um, YouTube streams are good for getting more view hours maybe not more followers. It's not good for like new people to find me, but um, people might want to watch this Getting whenever they're bored sometime. I don't know. Time for some pump up I'm making this up as I go. Music is your personal guide to the world of music with personalized playlists so you can conquer the workday. Upgrade to YouTube Music Premium, uninterrupted music dedicated to you. Try one month free. Thank you. 
I don't, I don't want to do Twitch. Uh, I would like to get partnered on YouTube. I make tutorials and, um, but in order for me to get partnered, I need not only have followers, which I feel like is going to happen at some point, but you have to have a certain amount of watch hours within a 12 month time span. And so, um, that's harder. And so I don't necessarily want to do live that much, but, um, I'm not particularly good at it, but I, I would like to get maybe partnered one day because it'd be cool to make any money doing literally any part of this, you know, hobby. That'd be, that'd be neat. We'll see. It's what it is. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit again. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom part out now while I'm waiting, because why not? It's like a little triangle-ish bitty. It's not a triangle. It's a shape of some sort. I don't know. I wish I knew my shapes. So there's another little piece down here at the bottom. Yoink, it'll go over here too. Yeah, that is kind of a down. I don't really want people to know. So my um, cosplay name before Plexi Cosplay used to be Candace Does Cosplay. And then people kept calling me Candace. And I'm like, Bitch, you don't know me. And uh, so I changed it. <laughs> That's why. I like to change my stuff everywhere because it's just weird when people call me Candace who aren't my friends. You guys are my friends, so you can call me Candace. Alright, move that out of the way. Cut another piece. And I'm gonna cut a few millimeters off of this one again, like before. pattern pieces on the wall. Measure it up to here. It looks all right. I feel like that side is definitely. Looking good. So I'll go ahead and cut that one out. I mean glue it. Okay. Glue time again. Yeah, you can share this. Share this everywhere. That's fine. I would love people to watch this. Well, maybe this isn't the best version of me, but you know what? I take it or leave it. <laughs> oh, Listen to music with your screen. Lock. All right. I think Listen I need to, to open up a new can of so cement soon because this is. This is getting a little bit thin over here. And by thin, I mean not enough. Okay. This driving, I can erase it. It's fine. You did fix it. Look at that. We're all getting stuff done today. Productive YouTube channel time. All right. Yeah, I need to open up my new can of barge. All right. Okay, this is 
a second. Nathan, gotta go home for your lunch. All right, so let me go ahead and attach this piece in the top middle. Uh, I only use one coat, but you can use two. So sometimes if something doesn't, like if it dried too fast or wasn't thick enough, then, then I'll use two. But I mean, I only ever use one. Um, I'm not sure if that's, do people usually only use one? I don't know. So I'm going to start at the edges for these because I want them to be just a few millimeters from the edge. And then I'm going to work my way towards the middle. And then I'm going to push down in, the, in all the other spots and make it, make it work. Can of barge. Is that what I was doing? Yeah, it's over here. Got this ginormo can, which I'm pretty happy about because I really needed it. So I can open this. start cutting out the other pieces here. I'm going to pieces. I'm going to start, I think, at the longest piece from the top, which is on the left side. down from the top left. on. All right. So now I've got my top and my bottoms, which means I can start working towards the middle. Let me make sure they all line up before I start gluing things on and cutting pieces. So 
there's a section here at the bottom corner, which I can use the top portion to kind of follow along the next piece of the pattern. I'm going to do that one first. Seems like it makes the most sense. Actually YouTube Premium removes interruptions from your video recipe. Start a free trial now. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to cut a few millimeters in on all sides. on things while I'm working on things. This is the beauty of it. We both work on things. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's kind of like while I was holding off on this. Like, well, I should do it on a video. I should whatever, but then that means I can't work on it now. So I decided to just start working on it. And then your wife was like, I'm waiting for that stream. Well, I guess I should show people. Yeah, I have really terrible posture, and then I also don't, like, make accommodations for better posture in this room. Yeah, I've gotten back harnesses, and it just, I'm just a little ogre person, I guess. I'll never, I'll never get better. Me. Yeah, this table's really too small. But I'm also a very tall woman. I actually sawed off the bottom of my one stool for sewing. I'll show you in a second. And that has helped tremendously. Um, so what stool is it? Let's see. So I've got these two stools and one is a lot longer than the other. And that's because I saw this one down from the bottom so that whenever I'm sewing, I'm not like super hunched over, but it's still, you know, far from perfect. I'm surprised your spikes aren't there yet. Um, aren't they supposed to be there like yesterday? And they said they were in transit whenever I checked that number earlier, but it's USPS, so. I guess I should expect no less than absolute shoddy work from them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the next one out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Monday. It was supposed to be there like yesterday. And it said it was going to be in transit today. Super frustrating. One of the, um, uh, not tiaras, crowns. When are they coming in? That should be soon. They're so nice. I want to make myself one out of the gray because it's so much nicer than the black that I made mine out of. So I'll cut this one too. I should start labeling these. This will be one right. Gonna come back to bite me in the ass later whenever I realize that I haven't labeled any of these as I've been cutting them. Your personal guide to the world of hip hop. Get a free trial of YouTube Music Premium today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yoink. Measuring them up here. Tuesday. Flapper <gasps> Sylvie. Sounds amazing. sent you the little like comic version one that I made too that I'm not going to use see if you could make use out of it because I don't feel like using it but I seem to be really into Sylvie so it'd be good for someone like you to give away Strikey gone. Yeah, you with the comic one. It's like so. Let me show you how like silly small it is compared. So I got this from the same person. It says that like they're adult sizes. It doesn't like specify that one is a child size versus adult. So this is the one I sent you, right? An adult size one for me. And this is the comic one, which is like stupidly small, um, with no warning. So I printed it out and I was like, this is like for a child. Like look how tiny this little horn is. So I would love to see a dude wear this. <laughs> yeah, you know, I should put it, I thought about putting it on the cat. Isn't it like a thing where when they jump through the timelines or whatever that animals could be Loki? I don't know. This would be good for that though. <laughs> if I could enter it in, isn't UOCC gonna do like an animal cosplay competition? And I can make it Loki. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It's, you know, it just feels kind of goofy. And the horn is, like, to me, a little bit too small for my liking. I, I like them to be a little wild. But, yeah, I should do a stuffed alligator. Yeah, well, so her crown is, like, smaller, but it needs to have just a little bit of heft to it, you know? Like, like this is the one that you guys are getting that I like, and it's, it's just... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. Probably. It's probably me. I should have just sent it. I'll just send it in with the next thing that I send you guys. Whatever that happens to be. Music is really something else. Get in there, fam. Weird with the lighting. So I'm gonna do strapping at the top and on the sides. I'm not even making the back of this thing, but I don't really think most people will make the back. So, um, all right, now I gotta figure out next part. 
which would, that would be down there. birthday stream are you making something like what are you making i didn't even look to see what you're making i just knew it was happening tonight it's been a long day you're taking a relaxing bubble bath finding your inner zen while chaos occurs outside Within these walls is your sanctuary of peace. Just you, the water, common music, and me? I know, I know, I don't belong here, not in this sea of serenity. Upgrade to YouTube Music Premium on your app or online for proper peace, without ads. Start legendary birthday present. Is it like a secret legendary birthday present? Like I have to tune in to see what it is type of a thing? Is that how it's gone? Out of control wild. Do you do like um games or like people can donate or whatever? I don't I don't I've never done a birthday stream. What happens in a birthday stream? food to your house sounds fun i would order it and i'd be like happy birthday to you but also please give this to your wife because i think she's amazing and it would be like cookies and sushi whatever I can't believe I'm doing all this work for a thing that I, I'm just making for videos. <laughs> Whatever, worth it, right? Edging. Like I say, I'm gonna turn this into an inkscape pattern, but is anyone really gonna want this? I don't know. Put my mechanical owl away. I can't wait to pull them out and see if it actually works. So I'm only doing one piece at a time right now because I don't trust that if I do more than one that these patterns will line up correctly, so I'm just playing it safe right now. 
one pattern at a time, one pattern piece. middle parts together now. Your wife's great. She's allowed to show you things. Alright, so I'm going to measure out this last one down here. On the right side, information on all that green vaccines, go to youtube.com forward slash vaccine info. Brought to you by YouTube and the Vaccine Confidence Project. a lot of alteration, but that's fine. I should use a different color marker for where I want to cut this one. I'm going to use blue. As I work my way down because of all of the differences in the millimeters and the everything else, uh, you know, shit got funky. So towards the end here, this one needs the most alteration. It's too big because of all the spacing that I did. So I did it in blue and I'm going to cut where the blue is at for this. this right to Of my pattern wall. See how it goes. You have something to work on now. Did that change? Let me measure this up in here.
Different sword. I just hate when you have so many swords to pick from. It's difficult. actually trace this one because I know exactly where it's going since it has the other pattern pieces right up against it. What's that goodie dry? What's the other sword you're working on? I don't have, I do have some swords. I'm not saying I've never made swords, but my favorite one I actually ordered from Enrique Claus. I'll show it to you. It's a resin sword. And if you put um, UV light through it, it, it glows in the dark too. But it's kind of my favorite thing. It is a hefty thing. Um, and I kind of want to make an entire cosplay just around this sword. It's my, it's my absolute favorite. Oh, you're doing the winter sword? Are you doing, wait, are you, is the Witcher thing for you or is that for a friend? I don't remember. I thought you were making it for a friend. I'm excited for the Witcher. But we'd wait till what, December now? Unreal. Don't like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this. You started getting ready for bed with soothing sounds and now you're ready to fall asleep. Keep your ASMR video playing, even with your screen off. Try YouTube Premium on us. Trash. I'll cut this last piece while my glue is drying. Okay. blue marker again. Cut this piece out. Is this how people make patterns? I feel like my pattern making is a little messy, but people have wanted to see it, so it's just... Again, super scientific. I'm sure people love this. the game versus show got it so joining i'm making sylvie's breastplate which is a bunch of these like little overlaying pattern pieces and um yeah you know what it's i have a messy process but it's going just fine it's gonna look it's gonna look badass gonna cut that down All right, let me put this other piece on. So I've let these pieces glue, they can go on. It is MCU related. 
even though I have no idea. I haven't watched the new Loki show yet. Because I'm a loser. Alright, so I'm just overlaying this piece right now and getting it attached. I like it so far. It's looking nice. Marcia, you watch this stuff. Do I look like Sylvie at all? Is that a thing? Squeegee. I can let this dry. <laughs> I'm glad she likes it. I think I think I'm gonna sell some of these. I, I think it's coming along real nicely, although it's really hard to see in this lighting. There we go. You can tell Amelia already. Um, the obviously haven't painted it yet but it's there Amelia can have this one if she wants it's a comic version of it she'll have to paint it herself though so the only other part that I don't have here is a mirrored section on this side let's see if it see if it lines up measure up okay. I'm going to cut one of these out. YouTube Music Premium and get one free month. as you see to kind of mark where I want to cut things and I come over and cut and that is a much nicer piece that will go there. Let me go ahead and put the last stripe on that I have here that I've already had the glue drying. Okay. So 
just putting on this last panel here before I have the bottom section to finish off. I'm trying to keep my millimeter distances everywhere that I wanted between each little panel. So I'm just going to fill in this section now too, but that last piece that I was just tracing. Except I don't like the way this looks because of that other section, so. You got to cut one more, one more try. Fortunately, two millimeter foam is not that expensive. Or I'd be pretty ticked about this. All right. This is the magical puzzle piece. It is. All right, great. I won't need it anymore after this. Um, but what I am going to do is while this is waiting to dry where this last panel is going to go, I need to cut out where the strapping will go. Um, so the strapping for this, see it has like this semicircle piece. It kind of like continues up from that. So I'm going to take the, the width of that semicircle and draw a line. right above it in the middle of the trim piece. That's where I'm gonna to wanna to cut a hole. Same for the other side. And I think what I'm gonna do is also do two on each side here. And I might actually not even cut through it. I think I'm going to glue underneath of these panels two pieces of elastic that will go around my body and on the other side I'll have velcro and I'll just velcro them on because that seems that seems nice we're working together look at us all having craft day together on times so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these pieces out real quick though um, I'm using a box cutter because I need to cut through four plus two that's six millimeters of foam and I don't think I can really do that well with an exacto I hang it over the edge and just carve right down through. them out. After this I'll also dremel around the edges here so it looks a little nicer. Now I have my two holes here at the top for the strapping. Um, I was thinking about it because it's like a full actually one piece. It's a nice shirt, right? <laughs> Um, that these straps would actually um, be attached here and I would pull them up and loop them in up top. So it kind of coming around my shoulder blades my or maybe going well, across really to, to the other side. Um, and then just having one here at the bottom going across. They don't really have pictures of the back of this. So I'm just gonna make it up myself and I think that'll look real nice. All right, last panel going on. Thank you. 
got any little dangly bits? I like to usually cut them off, like if they're really sticking out on the side a lot more than they should be. I'm gonna take a heat gun real quick and heat seal everything. lighting here. I do. Give me a second. I'm going to set up this light so we can see this a little bit nicer. I kind of want to make sure that it looks good. helps any. It doesn't help very much. Ooh. No, it's like that light doesn't even exist. But yeah, so there's Lady Loki's chest piece. I'm just going to take it this top section and I'm going to dremel in some weathering here and then um, add some strapping. Oh, I did want to do, before I go, I'm not quite done yet, there's some like little gold sections here, like rectangles almost. Take a look here what these rectangles look like. Um, Yeah, it's not very easy to see in any of the photos. So I'm going to go ahead and make these up as I do. I'm going to draw them on with um, silver sharpie first. So there's a little gold section at the top of here, the top of here, and then there's three sections here. And they kind of come down. The other one's just slightly longer. And then this has another one. I feel like I made these a bit longer. Thank you. Um, I keep making this up though. So I feel like these need to be a bit shorter. So those will be those sections. One, two, and then this one down there. And this is how I literally pattern everything. I make it up as I go and I draw directly on there. So I'm just gonna cut out some strips. These are all the same length. So basically I'm just gonna cut out a very long strip of it and then cut all the little pieces to size. Isn't 
to music personalized to you. YouTube Music Premium. Start a one month free trial. I'm going to do double of each because I have to do it on the other side as well. So it needs to be slightly longer. Slightly longer of this. like a really thin small brush for all of my contacts in it and then it got I would just keep wrecking my brushes so silicone is a lot nicer or even just using the big brush. I'm gonna glue over where I had you drawn. mineral spirits to clean this up before I do the primer. If you haven't learned the mineral spirits hack, do it. Mineral spirits will get off your contact cement. gross. It's like whenever I used to work, I used to bake cakes. I hated buttercream because it sticks to everything and it's gross. But at least I like the smell of contact smell a little bit better. So I'm just letting these dry for a hot second. Should really do the other side while I'm waiting. Your personal guide to the world of K-pop. Sign up for YouTube Music Premium with one free month. And I can do these little bitties too. Hello, Ian. <laughs> Glad he thinks this is extra fun and special because, yeah. All right, so I'm just gluing on these little detail bits that will be painted in gold. Thank you. 
millimeter details just putting them on here I'm gonna do the same for the other side now too I've already glued the other side so uh, it should be a lot faster something new and you want to get good at it like really good at it YouTube premium can help with that you can study back to back to back without ads. Need one more of these you can download videos so you can keep learning even when you don't have Wi-Fi or data and you can keep listening with your screen okay upgrade to YouTube premium this is in the last of the so tiny details which okay. Hi, Helen. Just finishing up the little details on the bottom part here. And then I'm going to clean it up with mineral spirits whenever I'm done so that there's no contact cement here before I prime it. before I use the mineral spirits so I don't accidentally start messing things up. But then maybe later I'll come on and do painting. Um, priming and painting won't be too difficult, but it'll be fun. So there you go. Sylvie's breastplate. Thanks, ma'am. I'll see you at your birthday stream later. Happy birthday! 